Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video. The World Boxing Organization will sanction Terence Crawford's planned August 3rd bout against Israel Madrimov as an interim title fight, heightening the possibility that two 154-pound titles will be on the line by the time the combatants step in the ring in Los Angeles. Uzbekistan's Madrimov, 10 fights, no losses, 1 draw, 7 KOs, already stands as the WBA junior middleweight champion by virtue of his fifth-round TKO of Magond Kurbanov on March 8 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Like that bout, the Los Angeles card, pegged for the historic Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, will occur under the leadership of Saudi Arabia's chairman of the General Entertainment Authority, Turkey Alalshik. Headlined by Crawford, 40 fights, no losses, 31 knockouts, the unbeaten three-division champion and the top pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world in some analysts' rankings, this event will be Alalshik's U.S. debut and is expected to feature another deep undercard, with reports that Southern California's former world heavyweight champion Andy Ruiz will be on the bill. Alalshik is poised to host two substantial cards in Saudi Arabia on May 18 the undisputed heavyweight title fight between unbeaten champions Tyson Fury and Alexander Yusik, and June 1, the undisputed light heavyweight title fight between unbeaten Russian world champions Artur Bedarbiv and Dmitry Bival. Alalshik is poised to host two substantial cards in Saudi Arabia on May 18, the undisputed heavyweight title fight between unbeaten champions Tyson Fury and Alexander Yusik, and June 1, the undisputed light heavyweight title fight between unbeaten Russian world champions Artur Bedarbiv and Dmitry Bival. Adding the WBO strap to the prize list for the August 3rd main event winner is a result of current WBO junior middleweight champion Sebastian Fundora suffering a broken nose in his March 30th split decision triumph over then-champion Tim Sayu in Las Vegas. Fundora was medically suspended until late September by the Nevada Athletic Commission, and the fighter's promoter, Samson Lukovic has said Fundora, who also wears the WBC 154-pound belt, might not even fight again until December. As a WBO super champion, recently undisputed welterweight champion Crawford has the right to invoke a title shot in nearby weight classes, and he had previously done so even before Tsayu and Fundora fought. With a Wednesday announcement scheduled in New York to formally publicize his bout with Madrimov, Crawford may find that the full WBO title is in play by August. Should Fundora opt to fight someone other than Crawford next, he could either relinquish the belt or the WBO board is empowered to ultimately strip him of the strap for not following its mandates. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments section below, and please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We sign out, peace, ciao.